Yo, what's going on, Phantom Thieves? I'm back with another video, and today's just going to be a quick one. Uh, I got to go to work soon, but I wanted to just let you know what I've been up to for the week as far as video gaming, and I have the case here. Uh, it's uh, probably a little hard to see, but I've been on that new Fate uh, Remnant by Koei Tecmo, um, and I mean, you see it right right on this side here, but I've been playing that in uh, Fate Extella Link. Then I've also been playing uh, Monster Hunter Generations, which some of you guys caught some of the Hunt of the Days that I'm doing, which I'll probably post one tonight, depending on how I feel after work. But uh, I've been doing that. Um, Fate Samurai Remnant, a lot of people think it's like a Musou type game, which in the combat, it has it has those elements. But this game is so much more. And actually... Um, I wouldn't go as far as to say it's like Dark Souls or anything like that, but this is probably one of the harder Koei Tecmo games I've ever played, and I've played quite a few of them in my lifetime. Uh, you cannot, and I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, but you cannot play this game button mashing. Now, on the normal difficulty games of your Samurai Warriors, Dynasty Warriors, stuff like that, you can button mash your way through the game. You might have to check your health once in a while. But typically, you can get through the games unless you're playing on hard or like chaos or anything. You can typically get through those games fairly easily, which they're meant to be that way. But this game, the reason Dark Souls came to mind, the boss fights and like the, the mini bosses and stuff that you fight, I've, I've put in about close to five, six hours. But those type of enemies that you fight they have a challenge and there's certain ways you have to defeat them uh there's certain attacks you have to use along with your servants like i said you cannot just button mash your way through this game like when i first fought my first enemy in this no lie i was just trying to hit him my attacks were deflecting all kind of stuff right but if you go at it like a regular koei tecmo game is going to punish you and i like that it's different the RPG elements are there. I've only been to two or three different locales, but they all have a distinct feeling. And while you might not fight a lot of enemies at once, because it's a Koei Tecmo game and you know they can get a lot of people on their screens, one thing I like that they did is they they got a lot of a lot of NPCs into the towns to make it feel more lively. And I like that. I appreciate that they did that. So you have that going on. Um, the customization. I haven't got any more because I don't know for sure. I've avoided as many spoilers as anything. I don't know if you'll be able to use any more of the masters and servants. Please don't tell me because I'm enjoying this a lot and I want to figure that out. But, um, oh, there we go. All right. But um, I'm assuming you're probably going to be able to use some more of the masters and some of their servants, but even just having Saber and uh, Iori, the servants, when you are, when you're able to use Saber in the game, and like I said, because I haven't got far, you don't have to worry about spoilers from me, but the way Saber plays different from Iori is so cool. They play so different. And they talk about that in the game, which I'm not going to speak on, but the customization, which I haven't unlocked. It. I've unlocked one new uh, handle, but that's it. The other ones, they just increased the stats, but they look the same. But I like the fact that there's customization. Iori and Saber both have their own, um, they both have their own, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, their own stats and stuff that you can upgrade. I don't understand why it was so hard to think about that, but they both have their own stat lines and stuff that you can upgrade. Um, and I wonder if it's going to be like that. If you have other playable characters, are you going to be able to upgrade them too, or is it just set with them? But I guess I'll find out. But uh, yeah, this game has been very, very good lately. Um, like I said, this is probably right now one of my favorite games from Koei Tecmo. And, and that's saying a lot. Like, Probably one of my favorite games from Koei Tecmo ever was Dynasty Warriors 4. Me and my uh, best friend back in that day, we used to play Dynasty Warriors 4 so much. And for my Dynasty Warriors fans out there, you guys know when you had to fight Lubu, y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? But 
just how different they made this and it it like I said it plays like a Musou game but they made it different enough to where and I guess you'd have to play it but they made it different enough to where it's not just a button masher and don't get me wrong I love my Musou games so button mashers are not they're great but they've done something different and I think for fans of Koei Tecmo, for fans of Musou games, you should give it a shot. I'm probably going to... I don't know if I want to post anything on YouTube because I don't... I seriously am enjoying this game so much I don't want to spoil anything. So you guys let me know in the comments if you guys want to see me drop some stuff. Maybe like a video or two just showcasing the, the combat. And you know what? Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll do a combat video just to show you guys how it is, but... Koei Tecmo really got something special with this game. From what I've played so far, they, they really have done a great job with this game. And I'm not going to lie. The fact that it's a, a samurai thing, ninja and samurai are some of my favorite you know things to do research on, you know, play video games on, all kind of stuff. So the fact that they took this and put it in Edo, Japan, it, 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 it that's just bonus points. That's bonus points. You know what I'm saying? The music is good. The side quests that I've done so far, they're samey, but when they lead to fights, I, I love the combat. So it's like, I'm fine with that. But um, yeah, that's what I've been playing. Uh, Like I said, um, I might post some fights up here just so you guys can see that. Um, Again, I might do, um, I, I'll probably, just for you guys, I'll probably go ahead and drop the, um, Hunt of the Day from Generations Ultimate. I know Rise is there and all that, but Generations Ultimate just has a special place in my heart, and I love that game. But, yeah. Guys, if you're a fan of Koei Tecmo, look into this. Look at some gameplay or something. You know, if I post something, look at that, because I'm not going to do any spoil, you know, story spoilers or anything. But that's what I've been up to for the week, Uh, you know, game-wise. You know, Monster Hunter, going to Fate, and then, you know, kicking it with my homeboys and stuff. Well... We'll get on the PS5 and hop on a headset or whatnot and play Fortnite and some other stuff. But Fate Samurai Remnant, that's that's taking up most of my time when it comes to gaming. And I have no regrets. So maybe maybe I'll do this once a week. I, I know I say that a lot, so I really got to stick to it. But maybe once a week, I'll just let you guys know what I've been playing. You know, this, that, or the third. And uh, make a little series out of that or something. But in the comments down below, let me know what you guys have been playing. Um... Subscribe to the video, you know, or to the channel, excuse me, like the video, but let me know what you guys have been playing, uh, let's see, and is there anything else that I, you know what, I'm not gonna get it yet, but Blasphemous 2 and Wargroove 2, they're both out, so I'll get those later down the line, but, uh, yeah, definitely, you know, Koei Tecmo fans, go check this out, we ain't ending like that, go check this out, and I, I can't recommend it enough, like, Go check those smaller channels or, or channels that don't that don't just say good or bad about everything. Really give this game a look at if you're a Koei Tecmo fan and you love the Warriors type games. Give it a look at. You won't be disappointed. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, drop the comments. Let me know what you're playing. You. You. Watching this video. Watching this right now. Let me know what you've been playing, okay? And I want to talk to you guys about it. Catch you in the next video. Like I said, tonight... Monster Hunter will probably be up, so thanks for watching, and peace out, y'all.